We don't need to apologize for being on this planet. Sure, Toyota yeah, had a lot of technical problems, so they did something to minimize their footprint. Yeah, closing down helps. Then you can be zero, but it's the only thing. Yeah. But this is not a, a concept for economy. I'm talking about economy, not about eco. Yeah. But this is where we are. The indoor air quality in building is at least three to eight times worse than outside urban air. Yeah. Never designed buildings for indoor use. When I analyze a children's toy, yeah, we find more than 600 chemicals from Mattel, for example. We put things in a glass box and we look what is off-gassing. These things are never designed for children. Yeah. We find carcinogens, we find mutagens, we find substances which never should go into indoor use. Yeah. They are made in China for one dollar. They are on the market for 19 euros. Look, this is terrorism. Yeah. If you expose children to carcinogens, if they only want to play, this is not fair. Yeah. This is homeland security as well. 40% of children have allergies now. What we do now, <laughs> we pay subsidies when we seal the buildings. Yeah. Instead of first saying, hey, what is the right thing? What is the indoor air quality? And then we optimize it. We are now sealing our buildings and get only tax credits when we seal the buildings. How sick. The European Union is now, instead of 39 chemicals, they are now banning 64 chemicals. But in children's toys, there are more than 1,000 dangerous chemicals if you analyze what you find in children's toys. You know, what does it help you now if you try to, to ban 64 chemicals instead of 39? That only keeps us busy. Sitting on the Titanic with a teaspoon and say, oh, now we take ta the tablespoon to bail out the water. That doesn't make sense. We look, at, we look at carbon, and that's nice to do so, but copper is far more critical. And with all this environmental debate, we gener somehow generated the feeling it's better we are not here. Can you imagine? Every day, ten, for 10 seconds, I fall in deep depression because I go to the toilet in the morning and I'm re releasing nutrients back into the environment. Yeah. Every day, we need to pick up two grams of phosphate and two grams and put it back in biological systems every day. But can you imagine? We feel so sorry to be on this planet that there's not one organic label, no Demeter, no Bioland, no, no Nature Progrès, whatever, no, nothing yeah, which allows our own nutrients to come back. Yeah. It's only eco, it's only green, it's only organic without us. Isn't it sad? Phosphate is far more rare than oil. And we need to pick, take it up every day, if we can, otherwise we would live like jellyfish. We need to store energy by phosphate. Isn't it amazing? We feel so guilty that we don't allow organic with us, yeah? only organic when we are not there. Yeah? The same with copper. Copper is so rare. There's far more, by the way, there's far more radioactivity being mined by the phosphate industry than it's used in all nuclear power plants. And there's no any reasonable uh, legal limit for radioactivity in fertilizer. We spread it all over the planet and increase our background contamination dramatically by phosphate fertilizer. Yeah? Then we have our great heroes who said, no goal is more crucial for healing the global environment than stabilizing human population. <laughs> what does it say? Ethics is good for your person, but don't make it a business ethics. No corporate social responsibility thing. No, it's about quality. Yeah. So when you say, when you make it an ethical thing, it's not there when you need it. Yeah. Not only in Germany. People forget ethics immediately when they're under stress. Yeah. So when you make it an ethical thing, it's not there, except for Mother Teresa. But for all the normal people, it's not there. So El Gore forgot about ethics immediately when he was in power, yeah? because you cannot think about ethics when you're in power. Yeah? So we lost 20 years by him, because he was in Kyoto. I was there in 94, and he diluted the Kyoto Treaty, that it was completely useless. And even that didn't get ratified, because when you're in power, you cannot think about ethics. Yeah? So. Uh, don't make it an ethical problem because it's never there when you need it. Yeah. In Israel, we say when you save uh, when you save one life, you save the earth. Here it says stabilizing human population. It says the more you kill, the better. Yeah. Oh, Daddy, I stabilized human population. Yeah. Yeah. If this is the mo most crucial thing, you better become mass murderer. So, do we really want to look at children and say it's better you're not here? Oh shit, overpopulation. Look at the biomass of ants, the weight of ants. Uh, by the way, it, when you want to protect the environment, never take the stairs in a building. Yeah. Because it can show you when you take the elevator, it takes five times less energy to take the elevator. And we calculated for a 40 year old vegetarian, yeah, it takes five times less energy to take the elevator than to take the stairs. Because to make a human calorie is about five times more energy intensive. Yeah. So never take the stairs in a building if you want to protect the environment. Yeah. 
because you can minimize your carbon footprint dramatically with that. Take the, the ants here. The biomass of ants is four times more than of human beings. And because they never take elevators, yeah, they take the stairs, they equal about 30 billion people in their calorie consumption. So we are not too many, we are too stupid. Yeah? We make waste, the difference is we make waste. So it's not about efficiency, it's about effectiveness. It's not about reducing, avoiding, minimizing, it's about a positive goal. Now your customer becomes your friend. The more you buy, the quicker we are. Yeah. So we need to positively define what we have. We can make carpets, for example, which clean the air, not being less toxic. We have a positive vision. This company is the only one which could increase her profit last year because now buying is a good thing. The more you buy, the quicker you are. Look at the cherry tree in spring, completely inefficient, but you all make eco-efficiency things, yeah, but amazingly effective. Look at that lipstick of this lady in front of me here. Yeah? A completely inefficient but amazingly effective. Yeah? <laughs> so, so it's not about minimizing footprint. It's, it makes sense not to use fossil fuels. But where is our positive footprint? So how can we be beneficial? So it's first about to do the right things, not doing things right. Otherwise, we are optimizing the wrong things. In that logic, by the way, East Germany has been protecting the environment so much better than West Germany just by inefficiency. They couldn't destroy all the wetlands. They left a lot of contaminated spots, but overall, the species diversity, the soil quality was so much better in East Germany than in West Germany. With unification, we put all the sludges from paper recycling into East, Eastern Germany for 10 years to destroy all the soil quality in East Germany, just to have the same living conditions in East and West. Yeah. So it's about waste equals food, food equals food, using current income, celebrating diversity. Everything becomes a nutrient. Everything that gets consumed, like food, like detergents, like brake pads, needs to go in biological cycles. In Europe, people think it's environmental protection when the pieces you cut off from these chairs are hazardous waste. Yeah, and you protect the environment by burning them as hazardous waste. We choose everything that goes into that so that you could even eat it. You take it up. So we make edible fabrics, which allows that these fabrics can go back. We do this now for more than 1,100 products. One of them are not only the first class seats, because indoor air quality, in, and they are about 20% cheaper to make. Technical nutrients. You're no longer selling chairs, you're selling the use of chairs. Now you can use far better materials. R and whole companies are changing into, into that. So we change the whole society because we're no longer selling products, we are selling services. You cannot make an energy saving window without toxic stuff in it, otherwise it doesn't work. Copper is amazingly toxic in biological systems, but it's endlessly usable in technical cycles. That's why we need the technosphere and the biosphere. We get now companies on board who want to be proud of what they're doing. Look, the nice thing is you don't need ethics anymore. These young students just don't want to be idiots. That's enough. Yeah. We analyze uh, chemicals and we analyze breast milk. And Frank uh, Franz was the first one, uh, basically, who has been pointing at this at, uh, report and muscle milk contamination. We analyzed 2,500 chemicals in breast milk. Since 25, four years, I'm analyzing breast milk. So 20, there are 2,500 chemicals in breast milk. These young scientists in ACTSO just say, hey, I'm not an idiot. I don't make stuff which accumulates in biological systems. You don't need ethics for that. A little self-esteem is enough. You see, we can do this now in a lot of companies, a lot of products. You can change these things, and you can do, be very fast for that. We can have buildings like, like trees, cities like forests. We can make positive things. And you see what happens? We don't have an overpopulation problem if you learn to organize things differently. We, make, we put the nutrients into biological cycles. We can make systems which are beneficial. The crime rate goes back. Why should we control people to be less bad when they can be good? We can show this in a lot of other things. So this is about a positive footprint. We can now use blaming and shaming for innovation. So let's talk about business. Let's talk about a triple top line, not a triple bottom line. Yeah. And then we can make good people want to be good for economy, good for society, but only zero for the environment. And for that, we are far too many. Yeah. And that's why it's about innovation. We can change this and we can form communities. We can make new things. And just final picture. When you change the diapers from a baby, the super absorbers from being hazardous waste into being able to go in biological systems, just with one baby, you can grow 150 trees in Israel. Then the baby would be carbon positive from the very beginning for the whole life. Yeah. So why should we be less bad when we can be good? Thank you very much. Michael, thank you very much.
a book for every speaker we design. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>